Well, welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Car Manufacture. So, in the last episode, um, you can obviously see that we have a very, very good system. I, well, I mean, a good system. I don't know about very, very good, but it's a good system, nonetheless. Cars are being put out. Money is being made. Um, people are doing their jobs. Robots are doing their jobs. Mechanics are doing their jobs. Transporters, believe it or not, are doing their jobs. Now, it's going to get a little bit crazier once we now start to uh, kind of go into these other lines. And then comes these other lines are going to be becoming new cars and things like that. And these new cars are going to obviously possibly take some more new parts and whatnot. And if there's any cars that need to be kind of um, switched out uh, with, what is it? Uh, this is uh, like new, uh, any new car that needs to be switched out online, like a new car on a line. There might be a lot of like tinkering back and forth when it comes to like adding like parts to like the pallets and whatnot and so on and so forth hopefully not too much but there might be a lot of micromanaging involved when we have to do that so what we're gonna do uh kind of is just again kind of go down the rope here i'm gonna go ahead and stop production on the probe i think it's well over well overdue uh the probe is finally needs to kind of just get out of here we got to get the probe out but hey the runs in the bonnie and clyde are running and they're going and we have cars going out money's being made training of the salespeople probably would be in like second priority right i would like to maybe work on them a bit because i know for a fact they need a little bit of love um, plus it would mean you know selling cars even faster right there we go. We'll go ahead and get these cars to the uh, to the uh, repair shop. How did that go? That went well. How did that go? That went decent. I'm not good enough. It's not good enough. Decent's not good enough. Sorry. But the runs, I believe, is a higher tier car uh, for what we have in stock. Now, we can actually use quite a bit of money on a lot of tech tree. So, uh, there's a shredder station. Now, we can salvage cars but i don't really have a need to salvage cars i guess at the moment uh more storage shelves which unlocks some more storage par uh store parts for in a smaller area would be really good for the future of these little tiny storage pots that we have in the back uh getting the bigger shelves having more be put onto those shelves will only help us not hurt us uh getting the generator would be nice however we just don't have a lot of room for the generator at the moment um dismantling workshop again i don't really see the need for the dismantling workshop right now so we can probably ignore that we only have one more upgrade when it comes to the management i guess so i think this is gonna boost us up to 100 uh, available workers if we if and when we get that what's going on over here um logistics expertise unlocks objects which allow transporters to gain proficiency in their job i think this is yeah just another um training facility for tr uh for transporters another resting area and then uh unlocks another proficiency item for these salespeople. whoa what the heck is what's going on then an attack my goodness um over here we have like scrapping deals which increase the in percentage of money regained when scrapping parts again i'm not really too worried about that advertising maybe yeah unlock advanced flyers it, it, sure um but you know I, I i think the cars are selling quite fine quite well actually if anything maybe unlocking comfort zones maybe a coffee maker we can add uh, so we'll unlock coffee maker and what is this this is like sales for posters helps with the sales uh, increases the chance of them buying something it kind of like it's one of those things like if you train your salespeople to be better salespeople but then like you have like these things where you're just like adding higher percentages of the sales to complete anyways like eventually it's going to be a wash right and one thing we haven't really done is just the research entirely because i just feel like we haven't needed to do any research but let's unlock this for a hundred dollars and just see what our other options are. Improve the chance of discovering a futuristic blueprint. Ooh, I like that. 10% chance. Let's dump into a futuristic car. Potentially. We'll get all of this. So 30% chance higher. I like that. Um, a research chalkboard. What is this? Unlocks research zone, which improved the discovering process. Okay, we can work on that. Put some research stuff in there. What is this? 
decreases the chance to discover an obsolete blueprint oh i like that too let's go ahead and double down on that as well so our research is going to be quite well quite good all right what is this unlocks research zone which improve improve the development process research grinder improve the development process i'm tempted okay cool so we have a higher chance of getting a um let's get this stuff in too we have a higher chance of getting a futuristic car i got we'll get this too while we're at it what is this more parking space unlocks new ways to store cars improve parking a parking spot with a roof parking spot with a round roof coming soon in development coming soon early access <laughs> and then the shredder station i guess we could buy that too we got, we're buying like all the tech tree stuff right uh, the conveyor be belt speed i mean yeah we can get more speed into our conveyor belt even though i think they are personally pretty fast already um we'll go ahead and buy all of the speed there okay so we've spent quite a bit of money now on this stuff and let's see let's look into the research here because we've unlocked quite a bit of new research items so we go to the research we can look into what is it the research chalkboard and it's a good thing that we've kept a um a bigger what would you say a bigger research for the scientists to rest a bigger area a bigger building for the researchers Let's do that. I don't know if we need multiple items or not. If it's good or not. Research grinder. We'll do that too. All right. We'll see what they do on that. Uh, sales. Yep. We have the coffee machine now. So we'll put down the coffee machine. In some areas, hopefully. <laughs> there we go. There we are. There we go. There we go and there we go okay uh that's all done and we could get the new storage in if we want to but i'm gonna hold out for now maybe until we get a bigger yeah until we get bigger cars futuristic cars we'll have to see what happens with this futuristic thing so the parking for multiple cars that's coming in a future update that's not in the game and that's not in the game yet i guess uh but parking with a parking spot with a round roof a space to park a car protects from rain and wind it has not rained a single time in all these years so i wonder if like the weather is just not implemented in the game yet we're getting to the point in the game where like stuff is not in the game quite yet which is something i you know it almost feels like a full release game it does but it is not it is an early access game so, you know, there's some things that will need to eventually be added in the future. Uh, that's good. Okay. Uh, once this whole... What is this? The probe. Yeah, once the probe is all said and done, we can get this out of here. And we can continue with our awesome... I, I like this. I like... You know, I, I, I do like this system that we have going on here with the robots down at the bottom four half. Uh, the mechanics doing the top, top half. I mean, really, mechanics go all through the entire line anyways, but... Yeah, I, I, I like this. I like what we got going on here. I think it's efficient, for sure. I don't know. It could be better. I always say that, right? I, I, I'm i always thinking that it always could be better. It absolutely always could be better, but I don't know. Or send that to the repair shop. I mean, hell, there could be even more cars coming out at, the, at a time. There we go. Good there. I guess once we get all the lines done it will then start to really fill out the um the parking lot i mean the runs in the bonnie and clyde already kind of fill out the parking lot as is send that to the repair shop send that to the repair shop send that to the repair shop it already feels like right that the runs in the bonnie and clyde they, they 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 sit in the parking lot quite a bit so if we can get all six of the cars running at this kind of speed and momentum I think that's going to be uh, the whole parking lot should be filled quite a bit, like quite often. We're still working on this probe. My goodness, I, I'm almost it's almost tempting to just like yeet it and get it out of here. And maybe just I'll like start take take the loss on the one car, right? And just start getting uh, and get it going, right? 
Let's see, what about you? You're indecent. I will send you to repair. Uh, let's see. Let's go back to this. Is this 100? Yeah, to 100. $40,000 for that. My goodness. Should I just do it? I mean, it's going to take a more hot minute to do it. No? No, they're finishing up. There it is. Now the robot should finish that up too. There you go. Good, good, good. Goodbye. Decent quality. Let's go and send that to the repair shop. I'm almost tempted to have maybe multiple repair shops. At this point, right? Two repair shops would be probably useful. Because we're going to be sending out a lot of cars anyways. Oh my goodness gracious. I am just like blown away how long it's taking these... That There we go. Finally. Goodness. All right. Stop in production on that. That came out to be a good quality one. Good. Okay. Time to ha hammer it down. So $54,000 to do this. Let's do it. Actually, let's wait for this car to leave first before I take apart this line. There we go. Oh, research done. Uh, that is done. This will be called the... Frick. This will be called the... This will be called the car. <laughs> This will be called the... I don't know. What the... This will be called the town. Let's do that. Yeah. That will be called the town. Sounds good. And then let's grab another blueprint. And let's see. This is a tier 6 car. Or we can go for a unknown. Let's go for an unknown. This is that car, apparently. What car is that? Does it tell us what tier it is? I guess not. Not until it's done. Okay. That's fine. All right, back on this. All right, so let's see. Let's go into the factory mode. Uh, let's get rid of this. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Clean this up a bit. Uh, first things first, we want to go conveyor belt again. Kind of stream this all the way up. And eventually, this won't be there anymore. That whole, like, inventory spot. Go assembly station. Perfect. 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 And hopefully this will do right, do by right. Like, um, like hopefully the spaces will be okay for all of this. So let's see here. We want to go, well, we want to go ahead and grab this out first and foremost, but what side do I want to put this on? I want to put this on, so that's on that side, put it on that side. So we want to do kind of opposite, I think. So we want to go like that. I think so. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, I'm just making sure. I just don't want to like do this wrong. There we go. There we go. Kind of just do it backwards in the brain. I just realized. What is this going on? Oh, those are in backwards is all. <laughs> That's why they look different. <laughs> I, I don't think you can rotate these things. I wish you could rotate them. Yeah, I don't think there's like a rotate button. There we go. There we are. Wait, did I put these assembly stations in wrong? You know what? Let me restart. I might have put them in wrong now thinking about it. Hang on a sec. Time out. Just want to make sure I do this correctly. Okay, that's going the right way. Okay, no, I, I maybe I did it right. They're all going the right direction. Okay. Back to this. There we go. Maybe I maybe they were not wrong? I don't know. Maybe they maybe it was wrong. There we go. There we go. Now, this is going to be a brand new car. This is not going to be the probe anymore. We're going to get a whole nother thing going. And this is a perfect time to do it. There we go. There we go. There we go. And then we want to go over to storage. And we want to make this area storage. Oops. Nope. Like that. Like that. And then eventually that will all be storage too when that goes down. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna just do it right off. Oh yeah, I forgot we have the we have the mediums shelving now. Oh baby, so let's go medium, medium. There we go. 
And then I guess this will be like small for now. So um, I think I'm just going to go right off the bat and just do uh, robots and not worry about like, oh, testing it. I think just doing the robots themselves or just like putting them out right away will be good. So we'll go back to back there. Kind of match what we got going on. And then really, if we wanted to, we can just expand this out now. Expand that out. Expand that out. Expand that out. I gotta have a better resting station here. Bigger resting station, I guess. Right in the middle. We can add some stuff to that. So let's do that. Let's add some stuff. And we can even put training stuff here if we wanted to. Uh, bench for chatting with co-workers. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go. We gotta have a bench there. Bench there. That's good. Doesn't need to be overdone. There's another spot for them to kind of rest as long as it's by their work spot right workplace i like it probably throw something in the middle there surely maybe another table no something i don't know maybe a toilet eventually <laughs> all right okay um so now that this is all done let's go ahead and um let's do it let's uh let's Figure out what we're going to put on here first and foremost. So factory into line. No more probe. Instead, this is going to be the Royal now. We've never built the Royal. So let's go ahead and build or start doing production on the Royal. So the Royal is now a thing. Now, before we do that, we need to come back over here and we need to get rid of the probe. We need to change this to the Royal and we need to start hyping the Royal up. Now we do have the new, uh, what is it? The new... Uh, flyers, right? I think it was like the advanced flyers. Now, let me just take a look real quick. Oh my god, we have $3,000. Suck me sideways. Uh, god damn. Okay, we're gonna need to do something about that here in a sec. I didn't realize our money was that low. Uh, continue question mark? Hang on, let me get some more money. Uh, the, this can't go into operation yet because I don't have any of the orders placed yet. So let me just make a little bit more money and then we'll start working back on the royal line. My goodness, I didn't realize we had no, uh, no money. There we go. Luckily, these two stations are really, really, really lifting us and lifting my spirits as well. There we go. Like, look, how, look how many of these cards. Oh, crap. This is going to be bad. We can't sell this car, actually. Um, <laughs> we can't sell this car because it's not advertised. We can quick sell it. Let's go ahead and quick sell it. $11,000. Okay. Decent. Let's go ahead and get that. I think I might try to make some more room so I can have another repair shop. I would like to have another repair shop. There we go. Bonnie and Clyde. There's the runs. That needs to go to repair. How's this one doing? In good condition. Good condition. Yeah, look at that. That's That is so smooth, man. I'm so happy with that. I am. I really am. This is a problem. Excellent condition. Look at our money climb. You can only be just happy. Happy for our people. Happy for everything. I didn't realize. I'm just now realizing after playing this game so many times. There's no sound effects, is there? <laughs> it's just music. There's not like, vroom, like some cars are doing this or whatnot. Anyways, we got some 15k now. Um... Yeah, let's start working on this now. Okay, so first things first. Uh, we want to do assembly line. Uh, this is for the Royal. Uh, now we went to chassis all the way up to suspension, I think. And then we went to all the way to electrical, if I remember correctly. And then we went all the way down to fenders. And then we went all the way down to Ooh, seats. And then all the way down to doors. I think that's how it goes. Down to seats. Let's see. 
fenders to bumpers, windows, panels. Uh, windows, windows, panels. Like that. Electrical down to body. Wait. Electrical down to fenders. I see. That? That seems ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I have it at. Okay. And then what do I have different? Uh, panels. I need to go up one. And then that's good, yeah? There we go. Uh, then we got to reassign the seven people back onto this line. And then uh, we need to then now do the storage. So let's do this. And now that we have these bigger shelves, it means we can get a lot of parts in and store it, which I kind of want to go back to these other lines and like mass order and have a big giant uh, giddy up of like parts, right? But we can have a ton of stuff. Now, this is going to be pretty pricey if I choose to do this. But um, we won't have to really like worry about I guess parts running out so we're gonna do our first big hit on the chassis and we're gonna go 25 quantities this is huge massive we're gonna come down here do this that's gonna be 60 percent as well um we're just gonna order a lot of stuff <sighs> this is gonna it's super super expensive with the engine possibly 25 there too we'll see if 25 will be our new happy medium uh, a lot of stuff here. Uh, let's go 25. Wow. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I forgot to put a thing thing here. Oh, no, I didn't forget. I think I just ran out of money is what happened. No, I didn't run out of money. I just forgot. <laughs> All right. There we go. Do that. Come back to this. So, yeah, we're going to do 25. And hopefully that will be good. And hopefully this will also keep from, like, having part issues so there this one's going to be different because we can't hold too much do 25 on this too i feel like i need to have these capacities at just like a m incredible massive order um no did i do that wrong i did not mean to do that whoops so daisy there we go. I messed up on that. That's all right. We got it. We got it. We're good. I think this was still under 25 though, right? It was. And then this. I wish you could copy and paste though. Man, that would be such a game changer. 25. Okay. Um, I think this the car, the Royal, is now officially ready to go into production. So let's go ahead and put that into production now. And then let's watch our money drop massively. And then watch this car. Actually, we're not ready. <laughs> we're not ready because we need to do this. We need to do our robots. Now, hopefully, I don't know about pathing issues. I don't think there's pathing issues in this game. I could be wrong about that. But it... To, to me, it doesn't feel like there's pathing issues. So I know the robots are kind of blocked off a little bit from society, but I'm hoping that will be just fine. Now, this honestly can go up to 20 each. There we go. <sighs> Hell, it can go even higher than that. Actually, no, we'll leave it at 20. 20. And maybe... a. 100% on the robots. And this one's going to be 100%. Uh, we're going to need to increase. Not by two. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Um, one of each. One of each. One of each. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's a bigger car. It's a different car. So maybe we can only do one of each on that one. It's definitely different. Uh, let's see. We'll go just... Yes. We'll go 20 on that. 20 on that. 20 on that. Hell, we'll do 25. 
We'll go 25 on those. Place the order. Come back over here. Do 12. We'll do 12. 12? Ah, too much. 10. Ah, still too much. 9? 8. Okay, we'll do 8. That was on a re... Yeah, that was on a reorder, right? Reorder. 100%. Okay, come back over here. Uh, does this seem to be a lot? Now, what I'm going to do, since they're not too big, I'm going to go three on that, and then I'm going to go same thing. Three on that. They'll both do all of that. Maybe I should do that for all the robots, now thinking about it. Like, why, why split them up, right? Why not have just the same job, I guess? It's a fair point. We'll try it. I'll try it with this like line and see if like if there's any difference because I mean, yeah, this is working right, but maybe I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways, fast forward time. Uh, the Royal is now officially in production. They should be jumping through hoops here once this stuff gets put in and uh, we'll have our Royal chassis coming down very, very soon. A little bit of backup on the Bonnie Clyde, but nothing to worry about. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Very cool. Very cool. It's good. It's good. It's good in the hood. I mean, it's like there's so many cars out here. It's going to get to a point where we're not going to be selling cars fast enough. That's a good thing, though. That's a part that, that, that I want to be a part of that. Yeah, I want to be a part of not selling cars fast enough. Uh, that's a very, very good problem. This is in good condition. Like, look at look at our lot here. Look at them. Constant flow of Bonnie and Clyde's. Constant flow of the runs. So forth. We're now officially starting the uh, journey on the Royal. It is now happening. Now that parts are starting to kind of come in, order in. We're starting to see a little bit of a little bit of hype. Really excited to see this car kind of go. Uh, do I have this car priced out correctly? Let me see. I don't think I do. No, it's not priced out correctly. So let me go ahead and reprice this. This is going to be a 250%. Which is going to be our first $3,000 car. Wow. Which will have a total income of $2,100 a sell. So this car, if we can get this car out a lot. I mean, $2,100 a piece. That's a damn good car. Damn good car. And that will definitely... Uh-oh. We have no more cars in the parking lot. Uh, that will definitely be good on our probe. Uh, weird. We have no cars being developed currently in the runs. Wonder what happened there. Must have been a supply issue. Could have been a supply issue. Could have been a capacity issue with supply. And I do want to replace these uh, shelves anyways. Uh, with the bigger tier so we can have even more stuff in there. I'll have to rework that, possibly. Hey, there's our first Royal, though. It's coming together. Yeah, so I might have to rework the storage on this side. Uh, for some reason, we did not... We decided not to uh, make the runs. But you can see the Bonnie and Clyde is going very well. So, sharing uh, storage capacity could be a problem here. Maybe. There's our first car out and about. There it is. It's in good condition. We'll go ahead and send that to the repair shop. Repair shop, get that going. It's a beautiful car. Absolutely beautiful. They're still not jumping onto the runs again. And I don't I don't blame them. Still not a chassis being built here. Let's see. Yeah, they could use even more, dude. I mean they could use more like in general. Pop it up to ten. Because that one's already at 10, right? Yeah, they're both at 10 now. So both at 10 on the on the on the capacity there. Both at 10, I think now. Yeah. Could be a renewal thing too. But the Bonnie and Clyde is like smoking it right now. The runs is like, oh yeah, one car at a time. There we go. Now they're starting to get more stuff. 
They might have just ran out of parts. Admittedly, the Royal is kicking it now. And that's the repair shop. Look at the Royal. One, two, three, four cars in the making currently. And that there. We'll back stock a little bit before we release the car. We'll backload our um our Royal. Crown Royal. This should have been the name of the car, honestly. Okay, now the runs are starting to come through. Yeah, and th there must have been like a part issue. Understandably. Let's see here. That's in poor condition. Let's send that to the repair shop. Bum, 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 bum. Money is kind of stalling at the moment because one, the runs uh, wasn't being like there's a brief period where the, it wasn't being built. Two, um, there's currently a car not being sold at the moment, which that will change here sh shortly. I want to back back stock it a little bit because I feel like that builds anticipation and it's fun. Plus, our marketing needs to kind of, you know, go up on the Royal anyways or the trend uh, that's going to the repair shop. This is good condition. I'm happy with that. How are we doing now on the line? Bonnie and Clyde going. Um, the runs also going. Okay. The Royal doing its thing. That's in good condition. That's in good condition. Cool, cool, cool. What's this at? It's in poor condition. The Vantage needs to go. It's so out of date. It's so out of date. It's like a, it's like the, if they're buying the this the red rocket and the vantage, they're just buying a classic car at this point. <laughs> oh, careful in there! All right, should we release it now? We have about five cars out and about. But look at that, the royal! How quickly that was! That was very very fast. How how quick we got these uh, cars built. So we're doing something right on this line, right? Absolutely. questionable right here questionable why this isn't going oh because it wasn't uh fully stocked is why yeah i think transporters are such a big part of this game now thinking about it now playing for this long like transporters are such a big deal because they're the ones that are refilling all the things that need to be refilled right like containers robots they're doing it all mechanics maybe not so much important now but probably going forward we're going to be looking at a massive hire on the transporters. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Anyways, I think it's time to release the Royal or the Kraken. You choose. This will be our first $3,000 car of a total of $2,100 of income. Released. All right, the Royal is officially on sale. We have one, two, three, four, five, six Royals ready to go. And as you see... Even here, looks like it kind of slowed down a bit. And again, I feel like that just incredibly, it just has to do with the car itself not getting enough parts fast enough. I think this is a transporter issue that we have here. I think that's all it is. I think it's an easy fix. I think we can do it. That car is out. That car is out. Holy crap. We've already sold all those cars that fast. $50,000. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what I could do is I could definitely go into the tech tree and get my last management and then just really double down on the on the transporters. This would be $40,000. Let's do it. And we'll really just double down on transporters from here on out. I don't think I need to hire any more mechanics. I think we're good on mechanics. We might have overdone it on the mechanics, honestly, but yeah. Cool. Let's do that. And then eventually, once we hire enough transporters to my liking, um, what I'll do is I'll just like start training them and whatnot. So there's five additional. Let's go six additional transporters. Seven. Let's do ten. I think. I think ten will be nice. Three more if we can find. Two more. One more. So we've hired 10 additional transporters. This is just going to uh, not hurt us. This is going to help us with keeping everything in stock, especially when it comes to all these parts in all these different areas. All these hoes in different area codes. Not the... I said hose, not hose. I said hose. Like a hose? Like a garden hose? No, I, I, I just lied to you. I don't know why I just did that. 
anyways uh back to that we'll go ahead and send that to the repair so now that we have this going we just need a little bit more money we do we need a little bit more money to uh to then start working on our oh something that, that one needs to go a little bit more money to get rid of the vantage and start getting the next car in now what is going to be the next car uh great question thanks for asking even though i'm talking to literally nobody and i am in a room in an office talking to myself thinking there's somebody there <laughs> doing youtube is so freaking cool uh so the royal and the runs are the highest priced cars right now if we are going to do this before the next research comes out, I would like to get the next car out and about, but it might be the Wagon Supra or it might be the Honda question mark or the town. Scramble is still technically around because it's still a higher tier car. Um, how are we doing over here on the research though? 76? Okay. Chalkboard, research desk, 100 watts. Okay. Or 100, yeah. I hire more researchers, but... Is that necessary? Might not even be necessary. Might not even be necessary. Uh, that needs to be put out. Sorry. Repair that. It's in excellent condition. Uh, 46, 45. A lot of money coming in. Okay. Now, I think this might be the time to move on to the next assembly line. And hopefully by then, this car will be put into action by the time we're done building this if we leave everything on play so let's go ahead and just stop production on the advantage how much money do i even make on the vantage i don't even know dude how much money do i make on you ah 1400 on the vantage is not bad huh more than i was thinking I'll take that to the repair shop people are loving their cars man i'm glad that everybody's happy with their cars uh, decent condition take that to the repair shop too red rocket that's fine i think this right here is an incredible system we've built it took trial and error but it is a it, it, it's it's something that works and i think i'm more proud about that that it works <laughs> i'm not very very good at these games that require like some sort of automation i'm never good at like games that have like automation in them um, like automation factory kind of games, but this one speaks to me because it's cars and it's cool. I like the factory element and I like the selling of the cars. I think it's fun. Um, but yeah, that's why you won't really see me play a lot of automation games because I'm just not good at them. So the fact that this is running, I like it. It's running smooth. I enjoy it. I mean, I'm tempted to just yeet the vantage at this point, but we'll finish up. We'll finish up with that. We'll finish up with that, and we'll also finish up with this episode. Thank you very much for hanging out with me today. Hope you all had a wonderful day, wonderful time watching. Hope to see you in another video or stream, wherever that may be. Do as always. Take care.